Hello and welcome to our Thursday, June 25th devotion. Let us begin by calling on the name of the Lord, the name in which we are baptized into. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us begin by praying with the psalmist, part of Psalm 55. This is something we've been praying together for the last few weeks. Um, so let us pray together. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and at midday, I cry out my need, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never abandon you to your distress. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us continue with the prayer of the day. Gracious Father, by your word you have made yourself known and have given us the promise of forgiveness and life through Jesus Christ. As you have loved us, we pray that you would lead us to show love to those around us, that your name would be glorified. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Our scripture lesson for today is taken from John, the 21st chapter. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Ten my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Here ends our reading for the day. As with Thomas in the upper room on the evening of the resurrection, which we read about yesterday, Peter also experiences the mercy of our Lord and receives a direct invitation to be part of the ministry of the gospel. As we read the early portions of the gospel, we see how Peter is affected by the teachings and work of Christ. His mother-in-law, was healed of a fever. He witnessed the power of Jesus to overcome death when Jairus' daughter is raised. Peter grows to love Jesus and is ready at a moment's notice to serve him. When Jesus asks the disciples who they think he is, it is Peter who answers, you are the Christ. When Jesus states that all will desert him, Peter declares his allegiance. And when Jesus is arrested, it's Peter who jumps to his defense, cutting off the ear of the servant Malchus. So when the Lord's words that Peter would deny him three times comes true on the night that Jesus was betrayed, Peter weeps bitterly. His humanity had won out. He had put himself first. This had to be on his mind, even after the resurrection and the events in the upper room. It's hard to believe sometimes that an action or a betrayal can be overcome, but Jesus knows the weakness of Peter, and he knows all of our weaknesses too. He knows that sin has a powerful hold, and he knows that we will not always be able to withstand its temptation. He comes to Peter to offer forgiveness and to call him into the work of making known the gospel. And like Peter, we are restored. Let us pray together. Lord, thank you for the love and understanding you have shown and for inviting us to be part of your work. Strengthen us in faith and in will. Amen. Now let us join together in the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's blessings on your day.